Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some more humble braggers that got called out on social media. Guys, for the future, just if, if you're gonna brag, just like own it, you know what I mean? Just fucking own it. Don't make yourself out to be like humble about it. We all know you're not. <laughs> I'd rather the $600 stimulus over the $2,000 one. It'll make me hustle harder. I don't know, maybe I'm just built different. Yeah, you're built like an idiot. <laughs> I'm built different. I'm, not, I'm never gonna be able to look at those words without thinking of that TikTok ever again. <laughs> I don't realize how many people I've helped and entertained over the years. When someone paints a mural of me, I question why, because I'm still thinking I'm that kid in my bedroom just creating content. I need to realize that I'm actually a god that needs to be worshipped. Damn, that's crazy, bro, but did I ask? <laughs> <laughs> like, just from this tweet, you can totally tell he's got a god complex. It's just, uh, stop, stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> just don't say that. Silly. Just paid for someone's lunch at Wendy's on Bay Street. Enjoy your day. Most people do this without looking for recognition, just saying, but it was a nice gesture. <laughs> that comment got more than the actual post. Not looking for one, just wanted to say you're welcome. Most people wait for the thank you. <laughs> Just so you know, everyone, guys, I did a good deed today. Guys, I wasn't totally selfish today. Did you know? Okay, now you do. What's the fastest you've seen a crowd go from excited to horrified? At a party, I was dared to whip out my Everyone hyped me up, so I did. That was the day I discovered I was more than just what I considered above average. Cool man. What, you want an award or something? He does, he, he does want an award. Or maybe just some Reddit karma. Did you ever do a lit search and while scanning the titles, see one and think, ooh, this sounds interesting. Then look down at the authors and see that it's your own paper. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No, I haven't done that. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> That's, that's like the most unrelatable tweet I've ever read. <laughs> Can't go to the gas station without being told I look like a supermodel. Sir, half my face is covered and that's a bold statement. <laughs> oh, life is so tough looking like a supermodel. Honestly, so annoying. <laughs> I tried to paint Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Oh, I feel like you did okay. I don't know. It looks a little off to me. I think you should practice more. <laughs> it's not my best work, I swear. It's awful. I can do- I'll do better next time. Yes, I am the person in the $375,000 Ferrari F8 Spider slowing down traffic on the 405 to get a photo of a Caprice wagon. And yes, it was worth it. It was mint. Cool story, bro. That's a cool story, bro! <laughs> it just seems so forced, doesn't it? So forced. <laughs> cool, man. That's very cool. That dull moment when you realize the frame color on your new glasses is the same as your next iPhone. Hashtag not a fanboy. Hashtag I love iPhone because it works. Hashtag blue is my color. Guys, guys, did you know I got a new phone? Look, see? I got a phone. It's a phone. Oh, that's Azzy, by the way. Go pick up Azzy's merch. Azzy. But also, I got a new phone. That guy who slept through every class in high school probably skipped college and owns a business. Guilty as served. Oh, you think you're cool? You think you're too cool for school? I'm not impressed. <laughs> Don't you like to learn? I like people that like to learn. I hate it when I meet people and they are like, OMG. You don't remember me from high school? You were so popular. Like I was on 150 milligrams of antidepressants and a Zan every day. I couldn't remember you if I tried, baby. I was so depressed. Me too, but I was a loser in high school. <laughs> Created a Tinder tonight thinking I'd get at least a couple of matches. 5,363 people swiped right on me. WTF is going on. Oh my God. <laughs> but girl, it's Tinder. <laughs> it's Tinder. You're scraping the bottom of the barrel, love. <laughs> That's mean. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're very pretty. I'm sure you have a lovely profile. <laughs> I caught COVID on a yacht with only 12 people on board. On a yacht with lots of fresh air and that. My point is keep your masks on and be careful. <laughs> I love how 
where she mentioned that she's on a yacht. Like you could have said, I caught COVID outdoors, but no, you, you said you're on a yacht. <laughs> Am I the only charge topping rapper that thinks it's normal to pull up to the barbershop by myself every week for a haircut? Shit is perfectly normal, right? <laughs> What, you mean you get haircuts? Ugh. Sweetie, we're celebrities. People need to come to us to get haircuts? You're so humble. Mingling with the common folk. Man, does it feel great to be good friends with millionaires? Life is truly a blessing. If you have nothing to humble brag about, brag about your friends who have something to humble brag about. <laughs> we danced, rode bikes, swam near whales, kayaked, watched a movie on the beach, and so much more. I realize that for most people, this is something that is so far out of reach right now. So in moments like these, I am humbly reminded of how privileged my life is. This is 40. And she posted this during the pandemic too. Hey man, she's built an entire business on people being jealous of her. Am I really surprised that she posted something like this? Not really. So I don't have anyone else to complain about this to. You seem like the most appropriate of my friends. I'm making a stupid amount of money this week. I feel very overpaid. Lol, why would I be the most appropriate of your friends to complain to? Cause everyone else has shitty jobs. That's so weird. Dude, why are you making it into a bad thing? Ugh. I downloaded Hinge five hours ago. This is overwhelming. I feel bad for hosting people. Like, I just feel bad, you know? Like, I don't want to lead people on. Again. <laughs> it's not saying much to say that you got a notification on a dating app. Like, it's just really not. Quantity versus quality. You know what I'm saying? Was that low-key a humble brag? <laughs> That's the thing. I feel like we've all, we're all guilty of doing this, but like, I don't know. We're all guilty of humble bragging to some degree, and I'm just calling everybody out for it. Always keep humble no matter what. Christian Louboutin on my feet, Rolex on my wrist, Gucci shirt with 1,500 pound plus R RP in the Harrods bag. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean you're humble if you travel on the train, but still always remember God stay humble. <laughs> He's literally just like telling thieves how to steal to where he is and how to steal from him. Just so you know, everyone, I have a lot of money on me and I'm taking the train. I was about to do a post showing that you can't really make that much money on TikTok. And then I opened up my balance and was like, never mind. So Gabby, are you saying that you make a lot of money on TikTok? Is that what you're saying? Like, I just needed a clarification. Thanks, Gabby. Wife uses my $4,000 setup to play a Pokemon Emerald emulator. I love it. <laughs> Girl, man. Would you, fully vaccinated, be ready to go to a packed cinema of other people who are also certifiably vaccinated? I'm a special case, an AV geek with my own dedicated cinema room. 12 foot 4K screen, 15 channel Atmos, etc. So watching at home was always better than a crowded auditorium. Having said that, nothing makes my gear work for its money better than a summer blockbuster. So I miss those. Is that, is that what you wanted? All right, we got time for a couple of more. All right, just a couple more. No exaggeration, every male Walmart worker in front of the store just walked me to my car while talking about how fine I was and what they do to me because they assumed I wasn't from the States because I wasn't speaking. After they loaded my groceries, I told them I'm from blank and they lost their shit. It was a glorious day here. <laughs> The person that posted it says, girl I went to school with posts this kind of shit constantly. <laughs> like I would almost unfollow them, but also like it's pretty funny to watch, isn't it? So Babe took me today to buy a birthday present because he hasn't had an opportunity to. And I don't know why he keeps insisting on getting brand names when he already knows how much I hate them. But I'm pretty sure they're getting a kick out of watching the security video from our visit, lol. Oh, we went to Balenciaga today. My boyfriend, he took me to buy Balenciaga and I just hate it, I hate Balenciaga. Balenciaga. So annoying. I'll take your boyfriend and your Balenciaga. <laughs> you lack self-esteem if you have a problem with eating alone in public. By the age of 17, I was traveling around Canada making almost double the average income of people twice my age. Living in hotels for work, I was forced to eat alone in typically a different restaurant each night. 
It is common for people to travel for work where I live, so I would often make friends with strangers who are also living alone in hotels. And when the waitresses find out you're making 15k a month, you're not lonely for long. Plus, the legal drinking age here is 18, so it was a lot of fun once I became old enough to take advantage of that. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Can't wait to wear these Gucci gloves on family gatherings knowing I'm the rich auntie who doesn't have kids but has traveled the world. Everything I touch turns to Gucci. Alrighty guys, those are some humble braggers fishing for compliments on social media. It's pretty funny, eh? <laughs> it's just, just so unaware. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to wipe your butt. <laughs> Subscribe!